looking for my new vapor blast cabinet. Uh, maybe. Nah. What's that? That could work. So I've built a few vapor blasters over the past few years, but I think this is probably by far my most ambitious project. I want to try and turn this old dishwasher into a vapor blaster using pretty much just scrap pieces. So we'll see how we go. So step one will be uh, working out how to turn this into a usable cabinet. It's designed to hold water in, so it's a pretty good start. Stainless steel in there, so the light should bounce around pretty good. Uh, and there's a nice port in the bottom there for everything to drain out. So um, we'll start by prepping that, getting everything off it we don't need, and uh, get it set up, ready to be used as a cabinet. So we've got it completely stripped now. Just a few brackets left on. I think I might leave that on there in case it comes in handy a little bit later. It's just uh, one of the feed pipes. It used to drop water in through the top there. One cool thing I noticed in pulling this apart was if you look at pretty much everything on the inside here, it pretty much just screws off. Spinning a bit of the back here though. Plenty there. Probably make that an air vent or something be the best I think not sure where I'm going to bring the the hoses in just yet maybe in this corner maybe straight up through the middle I'll sort that out later little bit small but like I say I'm trying to build this thing out of scrap so it's gonna have to do so I just realized that um, the videos I've done before have all been uh, vertical so I'm hoping by the time I put the edit together it doesn't look too horrible and um, you'll just be with me for for that part of the build got all the sides off I actually put this back in backwards because I want to um, want to have a little bit of bit of air flowing through to try and keep it a little clearer that hole is going to be way too small so I'm going to have to cut the front out and fit in the the glove holes and the glass and the glass I've got is like an old microwave so vision's okay through it trying to build it out of scrap so I might change it at a later date but for now We'll do the trick. That there is what I'm going to use for the grate on the bottom. I have to cut it down a little bit, but uh, it'll do the trick. In order to get some light in, these uh, bits of plastic, they're actually off the side of what I was going to use as a reservoir. It was just a fruit and veg box from the inside of a, of a refrigerator. Uh, but let's a bit of light in. What I'm going to do, you see up there, it's an old light box. I think it's off a off another sandblaster, um, but I'll probably just sit that on top, and uh, that'll let enough light in there. Not ideal, but trying to build this as much out of scrap and stuff I've got on hand, just to show that you can build them pretty much out of anything. Um, front door going on there. That's actually a piece off the front door cover. I'll just try and tack that in and, and glue the gaps, um, and then fit the glass in the front. And for the glove rings, I've just got this old paint can. I cut that open and then cable tie it over. And should be enough to get it done. I'd say it'll do the job. It's not ideal, but uh, this isn't about ideal. This is about working with what we've got. Got the holes cut in. Ready for the glass to go in with the glove rings. See the drain hole down there. Then all I really have to do is plumb it up. Got to put in a couple of holes for the air to come in and for the water to get run up from the reservoir through the pump 
and into here and then just put the nozzle on. Last day of a long weekend, so I managed to get quite a bit done. You can see the lights up there. You can see what you're doing in there. All the nozzles on. That's the nozzle from my other video. Made out of all parts I had lying around, plumbing fittings and the like. The gloves, sandblasting gloves that were destined for the bin. They leak, but they'll do for this. Uh, solenoid off there from the from the dishwasher. Uh, we're all plumbed up. I'm going to change that out. That's kind of cheating. That's one of my uh, switches that I already had. But there used to be a switch up in here um, that would shut the thing down if you if you opened it. So I'll turn that into a uh, into a switch when I get a bit of time. But now it's time to test it out. So I'll put a bit of water in it, and then my blast media will be this old test beads from something else. But that pretty much uh, will be me for the weekend. Um, I'm pretty happy with what I managed to achieve. I haven't bought anything specifically for sand, uh, for vapor blasting for this. It's just an old dishwasher and a whole bunch of parts I had lying around. So um, I'm still not entirely sure how well it's going to work, but we'll find out shortly. So there we go. Nozzle's pumping, seems to be mixing slurry. Um, I'll fire in something to, to test it. Probably, yeah, I think I've got, uh, they're all pretty clean. Uh, it'll do for now anyway. I'll find something better to blast uh, once we've tested it, whether it works or not. Here we go, testing, uh, this is the first time this has been used. I haven't tested it before this, so if it fails, it's a failure. Um, I'm hoping not, but um, let's just see how it goes. Trying to do it one handed, so I try not to make too big a mess of it, but let's just see how it works. seem to be leaking horrible wiring there don't do this at home this is just to test it I'll tie this up later but um, it's definitely insulated there's no issues with that lights not too bad fogs up a lot it needed to do something about that window maybe just a fresh water sprayer or something but you can see how well it's mixing that slurry there's plenty of glass beads in there um, no leaks out the side Let's uh, pull that part out and see how it looks. And there's our result. So it looks like before and after. So I would put that down to a success. Seems to be holding water. The seals in the front are good. Uh, a little difficult to see. Need to do something about that. I can do something about that later. Um, it's coming up on 7 o'clock on... Uh, the Monday of a long weekend so we're about to head home um, light seems to be working okay I'll put the cover back on that I'll tidy up the wiring a bit more but seems to be a success really happy with the result I'll tidy it up when I get a little bit more time but uh, to me that suggests that you can make a vapor blast out of scrap at um, pretty much zero cost so yeah really really happy about this it was uh, a well spent weekend um, in future I'll probably put up a video that's got um, 
few more details as to how the build went, what pump I used, a um, few different things that I had to change, things to look out, uh, look out for. But to me, that's a resounding success. Cheers.